like the Madonna of the cosmos. But there are at least two Madonnas. I, I think there's way more than two Thomases. Well, then he's the share. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. Hi. I imagine an asteroid passing between the Earth and the moon. Could we see the asteroid transit the moon, or would it be too small to see? How rare would that event be? Thanks, I really like your show. And sorry if my English isn't correct. Well, that was better than anything came, ever came out of your mouth. So I don't know what he's complaining about. <laughs> uh, I, I kid you, Chuck. No, I know. I don't. Yes, no, he, you're absolutely right, though. But so if we were to see an asteroid transit the Earth, first of all, Tr transit, uh, the, transit moon. the moon. Yeah. How often does that happen? It happens every year. Uh, we do see this. Well, no, uh, let me be specific. There are enough small asteroids out there. By the way, if you count up how many big asteroids there are versus how many small asteroids there are, there are more small ones than big ones. Okay. All right? When they get really small, we don't know they're around until it's kind of too late because they're not reflecting much light because they're little. Gotcha. So often, the asteroids that come between Earth and the Moon are discovered a few days before it happens, at most a week. Uh-huh. And so this, this happens several times a year. Okay. And now, will it come exactly between our line of sight to the Moon? That's rarer. That's a hard. That's that's. If it is, we, we no one's caught it doing that. Gotcha. And uh, so, but it's great he asked that because we recently had a Venus transit, and it's got people thinking. Right. When you're science literate, you connect one fact or thought to another, and it spreads out your knowledge and appreciation of the cosmos. So I applaud the extension of the Venus transit to a Moon transit. So you get these. By the way, these are house-sized asteroids. Right. And if they hit. They'd, they could explode in the air and level a thousand square kilometers of Earth's surface. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So there, <laughs> there you go. That's <laughs> there you go. That's comforting. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. And so, unfortunately, uh, fortunately, if one of those do does hit, it won't render us extinct. But it would really bad. It'd be really bad for the people who live below the the, the impact point. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. 